So you guys, um, well, first of all, hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamira Lane. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are not new, thank you all so much for coming back and supporting everything I do here with my channel. By the title of this video, I am going to be showing you how my hair looks literally a week after I retwisted it, y'all. I am so pressed. <laughs> I am so pressed because that twist out was so dang on nice and fresh and literally this is how my hair looks. Hacking into this video, first of all make sure that you're subscribed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a comment, a something, okay your girl has been on a roll with the consistency for videos. Um, but yeah, so let me just explain to y'all what's going on. First of all I'm vlogging from my phone just because it's a better quality and this doesn't really need like a whole sit down video with my big camera as you all can see i'm gonna tag my retwist video so you all can kind of see the difference or insert a picture but look at my ends not my ends my hairline even in the middle don't mind the white stuff i put like a a, a um black soap mask to try to help my dandruffs but look at all of that new growth it ain't even really new growth it's just hair that didn't make it inside of the dread or came out of the dread after it was already retwisted i'm not sure what is going on with my locks i actually started watching i forget her name but she's like a loctician or lock expert i'm gonna tag her actual channel and I've seen a few people here who looked very, very similar to mine. And the lock um, guru was literally saying that a lot of it is coming from stress. And what's happening is that the new growth is growing away from the dread, which makes total sense. <laughs> I don't know what it was from or even just like the thinning. So if y'all can see like this one. Is standing like really really bad she was just saying that a lot of that comes from stress or just not keeping your locks healthy um, and what that means is not just like what you're putting inside on top of your hair as far as like shampoo and stuff like that but making sure that you have a healthy diet making sure that you're drinking plenty of water and making sure that you're not stressing out because when you are stressed it changes the way you eat it changes how well you stay hydrated and it also at least for me when I get really really stressed I keep my fingers in my hair which is really really bad and I can tell that my hair is starting to break off from it and it ends up like this a week after I retwisted it so what I plan on doing I put the mask on it because first of all my dandruffs are out of this world ridiculous my scalp itches so bad y'all it is just so bad so I was like I can't take it no more I need to wash my hair and I'm starting to get like these like sunburns at the top of my hair I don't know oh my god but I just needed to put the mask on it and I'm gonna try a different like wash um technique that I also saw someone else do who has locks but pretty much she just like wet her hair dampened her hair and uh kind of like massaged each dread with the shampoo which also helped with like some of the build up as you can see that build up so i'm gonna try that out and i'm just gonna leave my hair alone i'm not gonna retwist my hair i'm gonna try to keep my fingers out of my hair i'm literally just gonna let my hair repair itself and do what it does and i think that that will probably help it the most in trying to manipulate it and combine dreads and put in more product and all of that. So, yes, <laughs> that's what's, what's going on. I'm about to wash my hair. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera. If you want to see a routine, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up or you give me a comment in the comment section below. But I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to come back and show you all how it looks, especially because I am not going to be retwisting it. So, yeah. So, you guys, my hair is fully washed. I need another t-shirt or something. I, I dry my hair with um, a t-shirt. Oh, my God. As you can see, I could tell that 
a lot of this is stress because look at my hairline some of my psoriasis is coming back and I could tell so this is my hair wash though look at my scalp it's clean you can't see a lot of the build up go to a different part let's put it down the middle oh my god it just feels good to have a clean scalp Clean, clean. So, oh, it's gonna take a long time for these to dry because y'all know that the dreads hold moisture, so it's gonna hold all of the water. And I don't have a dryer, nor am I retwisting my hair. Usually, when I retwist my hair, the water rings out. So. I don't know why I chose to do this tonight. I damn near could have did it tomorrow and let the heat kind of, you know, help my hair dry. But, yeah, we're just going to do it like this. And it'll be good for y'all to see, like, what my hair is going to look like in the morning since I'm not retwisting it. And, yeah, it's going to give it more of a semi-freeform, non-retwisted look, which is a bit rough, but... It's not going to look like this. I'm telling you, I've done this before and I always told myself that I wasn't going to do it again because it poofs out. It gets poofy and I hate that poofy look, but I really need my hair to be healthy. Like this is hanging on. Like I can't lose that and I could combine them, but I'm not retwisting anything. So we're just gonna leave the hair like this so yeah but yeah i'm gonna come back in the morning so you all can see how my hair looks when it's left on wet and not retwisted 